hello welcome back to the channel and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make this pointy shoulder sleeve now this sleeve is very avant-garde and i want to show you how to achieve it so to start drafting you need your basic sleeve block traced out and if you don't know how to achieve this basic sleeve block i have a course for it you can check the link in my description and you'll find the course then you measure two inches from the top of your sleeve head so from the top which is also called the crown measure two inches under and then you're going to square out a line on both sides of that of that point so you're basically creating a horizontal line there so the next thing i'll do is to square up a line from that center green line and the length of this line should be dependent on how raised you want the shoulder to be so if you want it to be raised properly like very high then you use a high number like right now i'm using five inches and that's quite high then you connect it back to the horizontal lines on both sides of the sleeve head just as i'm doing now so you connect to the back and then you do the same for the front part of the sleeve now you've, you would be creating a triangle sort of yes so next i'll just mark notches to identify the front part of the sleeve head and then the back and next i would have to measure the curved part of the sleeve head so you see from the triangle to the underarm point you know that's the front so from where the triangle stops to the underarm point you just measure because you need this for the front bodice and then of course you do the same thing for the back because you need that measurement for the back bodice too so you're just measuring this and you're taking notes of each side so yes i'm going to label what i have for each side then you'd also measure the try the length of that triangle just as i'm doing right now for the front and then you do the same thing for the back and you make sure you have to take note of these measurements yeah so i'm going to measure what i have for the back now because i will need it when i'm drafting the back bodies and of course the front bodies too so i had 14.8 for the back and then 14.2 for the front i'm just taking note of what i have for the back now this is what the sleeve looks like and we can now move to the front bodies to show you how that is drafted if you'd like to learn how I draft my basic bodies block, I have a course on this. You can find the link in my description or I also have a video showing how to do it, how I create it on YouTube. You can find that too. So this is my front bodies block and the first thing I'll do is to take that curved measurement that I took from the sleeve. Remember the front part of the sleeve, it was about 7cm. So I'm going to measure that from the underarm point to where the 7cm stops and then of course mark the point. Yeah, so after doing that, you take your ruler and you connect that point to the shoulder neck point or yeah, wherever that neck point is, you just connect it that way and then you find the midpoint of this line that you have created. You have to measure that line and find the midpoint. Now, all of this that I'm showing is based on a particular style, like there might be other ways that you can adapt this same information that I'm giving to create other designs for this raised shoulder but just get this and then you can always modify it for other styles so now that i've marked that midpoint i'm going to square up from that point you just square up a line from that point like i'm doing now yes so after doing this remember the triangle measurement we took for the front part of the sleeve you have to now place that measurement from where that horizontal line is happening to where the that measurement stops on that long line that we just drew so if it was 14.2 it means that the length of this line that i have here that i just drew now is 14.2 cm then of course from the neck you just connect it to wherever that point stopped on that slanted line like we have there now this line that i have on the shoulder part does not even have to be a straight line just as i've drawn there you could decide to curve yours if that's how if that's a design that you're going for you know you could modify it however you would like to you like it to look so this is not like a 
standard information it is just an example so that's it for the front part of this raised shoulder and now we move to the back to still follow the same process you start by marking the measurement of that curved part but now for the back and i believe for the back we had 6 cm so i'm going to just mark from the underarm point to where the 6 cm stops you mark that point and then using your ruler you connect it to the shoulder neck point as i'm doing now to create that slanted line and next you would find the midpoint of that line you mark the midpoint of the line mark that then you square up square off from that point you're squaring up from that point just the same process as we did for the front now that that's done we take the measurements that we had for the triangle but now for the back side of the sleeve and i believe we had 14.8 cm so the length of this line about to draw has to be 14.8 cm from that armhole so i have that now and then you just connect the um, shoulder part back to where the triangle meets as i'm doing now So really that's all that has to do with this raised shoulder sleeve. Now I'm just going to be adding allowances but then of course you could decide to style your bodies in different ways you know. Just style it as you would like but I'm just doing a basic style right now. Yeah so all I'm doing is just to show you what the, what the raised shoulder sleeve looks like but you can modify your pattern or your yeah you can modify your pattern however you please so i'm just adding allowance now the allowance that you need for this pointy part has to be about a 1 cm you would not want to do anything more than that so that you don't um, struggle with tension because there will be tension especially at the at that triangle point the pointy part of the triangle you would you might suffer some tension so you just need to work with um, this small amount of allowance yeah so i'm just adding allowances to every part i'm going to do the same thing for the front of the front for the front bodies also and that's it Now, so on this new sleeve head, I'm also going to have to add the 1cm allowance that I added to the armhole of the of the bodies. So it's just a 1cm. Like I said before, you're doing this so that you can reduce the tension that would happen when you're sewing. You're trying to avoid tension. So just a 1cm. In fact, if you could sew on 0.5cm, that would work. But then you just don't need it to... You just don't need it to be too... Like you don't need a wide sewing allowance for that. So yeah, you just add this and that's it for the sleeve allowance. So now I've added all of the allowances and I've cut out and this is what my sleeve pattern looks like. You see the rays and the pointy parts. You no longer have a rounded sleeve head, now you have a pointy sleeve head. And this is the front bodice. It also does not have a regular shoulder anymore. I remember I said that that the shoulder part doesn't have to look like that. It could be curved, but yeah, that's the front bodice. And this is the back bodice. Also looks like the front. Yeah. So in sewing this, like I said before, you might struggle with some tension, but then you should be able to work it out. And you might need to use some padding also just to make it stand as it should. So whatever you would need for structure, like a like wadding or hair stay, just to make it stand properly. Maybe in another video, I'll show you what this would look like on fabric. But well, this is basically what the 
pointy shoulder sleeve pattern looks like and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please like it share it and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one bye